Okay guys, hey, this is a question and answer video. I've already made this once and I got through half the questions and it took me 15 minutes. So I'm going to try to get to the questions I think are the easiest to answer that are the most um, unique instead of saying airsoft gun this, airsoft gun that. So um, I'm going to try to help y'all out here answering as many questions as possible. So um, here we go. I'm going to start all the way with the last page. Okay, first question asked on um, asked me, did you ever break an airsoft gun and which one? <laughs> My first gun I ever broke was a UTG Master Sniper like three years ago. I was trying to modify it, doing a Teflon mod, and I lost like eight pieces on the inside, lost them in the grass, couldn't find them again, so I just completely threw the gun away, pissed off. So, um, yeah, there's the story on that. Um, moving on. Airsoft3302 asked, how did you get into Airsoft? Um, first pistol was a little spring pistol from a flea market. I think it was uh, one of those dual wielding packs of the SEMA pistols that are really small, really cheap, and shoot like 30 feet. So yeah, and um, what really got me into Airsoft was the first time I ever played in the woods with a couple of people, which I do not recommend. Go play it in actual field, because I have a story to tell you all about that later on. Okay, um... Uh, from Cog Train, who is a guy who plays on my local field, what's your overall opinion on Balahack? Um, if I had to give it a rating, I'd give it a nine out of ten. Um, the only thing that kind of bogs it down is like the how much time we waste. Um, the games are good, the scenarios are kind of lengthy because we get 150 people there, and I know it's kind of hard to run 150 people around and do an efficient scenario. When we had the weeks where there was only 80 people there because of rain, everything went perfect. That, that's because there's 80 people there. It's easier to do with 80 people. But um, overall, Battle Hack's a good field. If um, maybe a couple more marshals out there, maybe if everyone more people had comms, the games would go perfect. But besides that, I'm going to keep playing there regardless because it's just an awesome field. Okay, um, what is my honest opinion of an ICSM4? This is from Airsoft Info 13. Um, one thing I got to say is don't fix a gun that ain't broke. I bought mine. The first thing I did is throw an M128 because I was like, oh, the FPS is only 300, blah, blah, blah. Don't do that. Um, every time you buy a new Airsoft gun, especially something that costs as much as an ICSM4, put at least 10,000 BBs to it and see how it shoots. If you don't like it, then change it. But if you're gonna spend 300 bucks, do you know have fun with it first before you spend money on it. That's you know that's my opinion. Overall, though, ICS is a solid gun stock, even if it is proprietary. The things like the pistons and the spring guides don't cost a lot of money. So you know, there you go. Okay, how should I get my brother into airsoft? That's from the Marksman 191. Um, show him my videos. <laughs> okay. But yeah, show just show him videos. Show him gameplay videos. Show him Scout the Doggy. Show him Rainbow Ops. Show him my gun cams. Just show him all these videos of people having fun in the masses. Not just five people in a backyard. Show him a hundred people playing airsoft at the same time. If that doesn't mesmerize someone I want to play, I don't know what does. So there's my answer to that. Okay, um I Airland Airsoft. What do your what do your parents think of airsoft? Do they have a popular YouTube channel? Um, unfortunately, um, no. My dad is half retarded when it comes to computers, not literally. But um, only thing he knows how to do is text, and I'm surprised he can do that. Uh, he gets up on computers to answer his email once a week, which I think is absolutely absurd. But um, uh, as far as what my parents think of Airsoft, my mom is deceased, but my dad goes crazy every time he looks at me and he sees me checking messages I tell him I get hundreds of emails and comments a day so I gotta go through them and then go on the forums he, he must think I'm crazy or something because I'm always on the computer answering people's questions and whatnot okay from the loafs 123 what is your best kill while playing airsoft five man spray 300 shot something like that etc okay I actually have a couple of times um, the first time was about a year and a half back, which was my first time playing a battle hack when I used to use the Classic Army MP5 a lot when I had it. Um, we were playing in the town. I started in the back by the way back, and I ran all the way up the left side. I made it all the way to the uh, other side. I think I have a gun cam video of this off my older Tachyon camera. 
and I made it all the way to the back building by myself and shot like seven people out in semi-auto before they saw me. So that was my first favorite, you know, mass killing spree. <laughs> and then my second favorite was two weeks ago. Was actually, see, yeah, second favorite because my first favorite is the one where I did it with the saw pushing 40 people back and killing 11 of them on the way, which I, the gun came in that too. But my second one before that, which is I didn't get a gun came of it, unfortunately. I was using my SVD this game. And eventually they pushed our whole team into this little town, like 40 by 40. So we're all bunched up. People are dying like crazy. I'm dead. I'm getting healed. This guy isn't prone healing me. Someone runs in the room says, safety kill. Doesn't even look at anyone. In, in our field, you got to accept the safety kill because, you know, our, our, our bottom line rule is shoot someone. Don't sit there and, you know... Excuse my language, but be a pussy about it. You know, we're there to shoot people. That's what airsoft is. So, um, our guy with the flag is in the corner, shoots him, and then like five more guys come in the room, kill the guy with the flag. By that time, I'm done getting healed. I run out. I shoot the guy who took our flag right in the butt. Two bullets, boom, boom. And then I shot six more people before I got shot by this guy with one of those gas shotguns. I shoot five BBs. Oh my God, did that hurt? <laughs> right in the side and I had no vest or any of the extra protection on so that hurt really bad okay um let's see how many guns have I owned over 60 and this is from Big Bad Bronson um three Big Bad Bronson three um I've had over 60 guns um I two three years ago I had a point where I was up on Kapawi and bought 11 Springers at the same time because I'm like oh I'm never gonna spend 250 bucks on a full auto blah 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 that's crazy money and then when I started cutting grass and you know working in the summer I'm like oh I got money oh let me try one got my JG G36C for a hundred 25 bucks thought it was the best thing in the world so from there stop buying springers and eventually I've had over 60 guns between um you know guns I've reviewed on um, guns I've 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 had owned over 60 guns and I'm down to five just goes to show you you know if I buy a gun I like to sell one because if I have too many guns I'm not gonna be able to use them all at the field and every gun I buy is something I'm gonna use I'm I'm, I'm not much of a collector I like to use what I have so there's my answer to that. Okay, let's see if I can fit two or three more here before I go. Huh. Okay, what's the best way to make your goggles fog up without defogger? Um, if you can't buy or can't find defogger, um, if you use the uh, the Gillette deodorant, <laughs> sounds crazy, but the clear one, if you um. If you get some of that, it's kind of like the liquid stuff that comes out through the holes on the deodorant stick. It's one of the antiperspirant Gillettes. If you rub a little bit on the lens, I think that and a little bit of Windex or something works. I forgot the exact mixture. I'm pretty sure you can find a video of it somewhere. And that's supposed to be a really good uh, homemade defogger. But if if your if your goggles fog up a lot, regardless, I would say get a really good pair of mesh goggles. I have had the same pair of mesh goggles for almost a year now been hit many times on the lens on the side of the lens um, no problems yet haven't been hit in the eyes so I'm really happy with them 30 bucks you know it's it's a good amount of money to spend on a pair of goggles but then again you don't want to spend five dollars on a pair of goggles and get your eyes shut up okay um from Sillers 199 what is your favorite airsoft company and why I'll be honest I don't have one as I go along and buy a different gun, oh, this is my favorite company now. But um, overall, I'd probably say Real Sword is is up there in the ranks. Real Sword's pretty good, especially for their externals. They're pretty solid internally too. Okay, from Jordog09, what's your favorite company or favorite country besides USA? I would have to say Australia or New Zealand, because I was actually fortunate enough to take a trip there in like seventh or eighth grade. And oh my God, just the best place to be. Even in our summer, it's like 40 degrees there because it's their winter. Just especially New Zealand, absolutely a beautiful place. I would go there again if I had the money. Cost way too much though. Okay, here's another one I think I have to answer just because what he says from JTAG Hero. Can you upgrade a KWAM4? Um, same thing with the ICS M4. If you're gonna spend 300 plus dollars on your gun, put 10,000 BBs to it first. 
put it through its paces, see what it can do. If it shoots and it's not accurate after 10,000 BBs, if you know your bucking hasn't broken in by 10,000 BBs, then buy your type bore and then buy your bucking. That's all I would really say to do until you actually have an internal problem to the point where you got to replace something. But besides that, KWA is $300 for a reason because you're not supposed to have to replace anything. It, you know, it's it's beefed up. <laughs> Okay, if I could change something in Airsoft, what would it be? Um, that's from Raptor Airsoft. I would have to say the misconceptions. I hate it when 500 people play Airsoft right, and then one person goes out in public with a little Springer or a little clear Springer, and then someone calls the police on him, and then the the country's like, oh, we got to ban Airsoft guns. You know, that's what they're doing in California right now. Come on. So many people play Airsoft. Why screw it up for us? So... You know, all the ignorant people out there that play airsoft, please get some common sense and go to an actual field. Hey, get your gun bags and get your orange tips if you don't have a gun bag, but get a gun bag regardless. Okay. Um, okay, here's the last question I'm going to answer because I actually just got it 13 minutes ago <laughs> from Free Run Central. How do you budget yourself in airsoft? How much money do you spend on airsoft relating things monthly? And how often do you get new guns? Um... How often I get new guns is how often I sell my guns. If I sell a gun like I just sold my saw, I'll get a new gun. That's just time. If I sell something, that's the only time I'm going to get a new gun because I don't want to have 20 guns because, as I've already said, I like to use everything I have when I go out and play. Um, how do I budget myself? Um, it's easy to use coupon codes. <laughs> um, besides using coupon codes, though, uh, the way I do it is since I have PayPal, if I run out of money in PayPal, I don't add anything extra until I actually make money through PayPal selling Airsoft stuff. So that way I'm not spending any personal money or scholarship money that I have from college on Airsoft because that would be completely stupid to do. Um, and right now, I've, yeah, I'm about to get two new guns. I'm not going to say what they are. And I'm still up ahead in money because I've sold stuff. That's just, it's, it's just a smart thing to do. If you're going to buy something, sell something. That way you can stay even instead of having 500 guns and no money for BBs. <laughs> okay, um, that's it for the questions. Really long. Um, I'm sorry I can't answer the simple standard questions like this over this, that over that. But um, hopefully this answered a lot of people's questions. And also, please give me some video ideas for this vlog channel. I can't think of anything outside of Airsoft to do. I might do some rants. I might do stuff like that. I'm I'll do it. You know, it's not my favorite thing in the world to do, but I'll do them. But y'all give me video ideas. Send me messages, private messages on what videos you'd like to see. If I like your idea, I'll mention your name if I remember to, and I'll make a video all on that. Okay, that's pretty much it. This has been Watch of Vlogs. What you're looking at with Watch of Vlogs. Um, if you haven't subbed to my other channel, I'm pretty sure all y'all have because you're over here. But that's pretty much it. This has been What You're Looking At. Um, let's get me up to a thousand subscribers pretty soon. <laughs> I'm out.